Now we're inside our Bluehost hosting control panel, and I want to show you how to install WordPress so you can begin creating your website. So uh, from, from here, you want to go down to uh, this website section and click the one-click install button, and this should go pretty quickly. So it'll say free one-click installs for the most popular application. So let's click on WordPress, and we'll hit install here. And here's our domain name that we just picked. We want to install it at the root domain. So when you um, load that page, you know, you can see the WordPress theme. We don't want to install any of this extra stuff right now. And it'll check the domain. It'll make sure basically what else is on this server right now or what else is on this domain right now. And basically, it shouldn't be anything there other than what Bluehost has already installed. Um, so, hey, there's already files here, but, you know, some of the stuff is going to be overwritten if you install that. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue. All right, let's install now. All right, so it says WordPress is installing now. And one of the cool things about WordPress is the library of free themes and templates that uh, that exist out there. And so once, um, I mean, you can find paid themes, but you can also find a ton of cool free themes. And that's what, probably what we're going to start with. So once this is done, I'll uh, take you in to your WordPress backend, and you can take a look and see what kind of themes are available uh, to install there. All right, our installation completed. So next up, we can check out our WordPress login credentials here. All right, so it'll show you your WordPress uh, login access information over here on the side. So if we open this up, we'll be able to log in to our back end. And of course, I will change this password so um, it's not visible to everybody. Once you're inside your WordPress dashboard, one of the first things you're going to want to change is your site title. So right now it's just set to SS site title. looks kind of ugly. So what you'll do is you go down to settings, and if you hit the uh, general settings, or just if you click settings, it'll show up. So I'm going to change this to email marketing uh, blog or email. How about email marketing is awesome. Uh, just another WordPress site. And if so you can change this to whatever your tagline is, uh, you know, list building, um, automation, and email fun you know something like that keyword rich uh, title that we can just uh, you know save those changes and you can actually watch those update in real time on your site so if i hit refresh it should update those on the uh on the theme or on the site and it actually does so email marketing is awesome now, as you can see, WordPress has already installed a default theme for you, and in my opinion, it actually looks pretty good. But if you want to change your theme at any time, it's super easy to do. What to do is from your dashboard, go to Appearance, and then Themes, which will bring up this page, and you can search the kind of WordPress.org directory of different themes, and you can sort by, you can search for keyword, you know, blog themes, news themes, magazine type themes, uh, purple, you know, if you want different color schemes, although most of that is customizable. If you hit popular, you can see, you know, what other people have installed, and of course the default WordPress themes are among that list. But what you can do is, you know, really quickly look, hey, this is what the theme looks like. Uh, if you think that looks cool, you can click install, and it'll install it on your site right away, but it won't be active yet. So if you hit the activate button, that's what will change this on your site. And now if you hit refresh, you know, this new theme will be installed on your page and you can play around with it. So my basic um, uh, WordPress strategy, if you will, is to find a free theme and customize it to until I until I like it. And I use, you know, contractors from Fiverr or Upwork and, or end up just doing a lot of it myself by trial and error and figuring out um, how different things move around. I actually have a lot of fun with that. So that's kind of where I'm at here, but super easy to get started, and I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial series, and uh, best of luck in your blogging adventures and your online business adventures. This stuff really is a ton of fun, and it's been absolutely life-changing for me, so hopefully it will be for you as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Nick at SideHustleNation.com is the best email for me, and uh, be sure to join the email list at SideHustleNation.com to stay up to date. If, uh, if I add anything else to this tutorial series or, you know, add um, some other videos, you know, what's next on how to build this blog, get an audience and all that jazz. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch up with you soon.